Nathan, thank you. Let's turn now to COVID-19 in Arkansas. Yet another record-breaking day, the sixth in the last two weeks. Nearly 13,000 new cases added to our total. Active cases jumped over the 82,000 mark, which means or 8,200 new today, and we're past 80,000 people in Arkansas positive right now for COVID-19. 65 new hospitalizations this evening. That leaves 1,251 people in a hospital bed in Arkansas, 170 of them on ventilators. Record case counts are coming from record amounts of testing. And with that comes concerns over possible testing issues. In North Little Rock, the Rose City Neighborhood Association got complaints about one location. THV 11's Jay Jackson takes a look at the problem and what to look out for. The association claimed that residents had problems with this COVID-19 drive through testing site out here near McCain Mall saying that it had a history of not giving results to its clients. This is the line of people coming and going to get tested at this site outside McCain Mall. It's run by a company called COVID Clinic, which tells THV 11 that this location opened up back in October. With the Omicron surge, they've gone from two to three people working the site to now six. That's because they used to do around 10 COVID tests a day. Now it's close to 100. Charles Perday got tested at the site a couple days ago and is still waiting for his results. So they don't have the results in yet, but I'll find that out in another day or two. COVID Clinic doesn't recommend no cost tests if you're traveling and need fast results. If you try to book an appointment online, you'll see a wide range of options for pricing, with one of the highest being $299 for a rapid PCR test. Results promised in two hours. Because I don't have any money. Uh, I'm below the poverty line, and they told me they would just test me and try to help me because I was in need. You want to be concerned about price gouging because in most cases, they're free, low charge. They will charge your health insurance if you have it typically, but... When you're getting prices like in the $300 range, $100 range, it, it's too high and there is a concern for price gouging. Kara Carlin with the Better Business Bureau serving Arkansas says the California BBB is currently looking into the company. COVID Clinic says with high numbers of testing, results could take longer with expedited testing taking precedence over others. We have received inquiries on some pop-up testing sites with similar um, details. Either the prices are really high, they're not receiving the results in due time, um, we don't have any specific information on the McCain Mall location at this time. The Arkansas Attorney General's Office also says it's, quote, aware of some new complaints related to several COVID-19 testing sites. Authorities are warning people to be careful when it comes to COVID testing. The most common concern, people ordering tests on lines that aren't FDA approved. Any investigations BBB serving Arkansas does will be sent to state health officials in the Attorney General's Office. Research, research, research. These pop-up sites are difficult because they are not reviewed heavily online like an Amazon product, but it still applies that if you want to do your research because the cases are on the rise and we all need accurate results fast. In Little Rock, Jade Jackson, THV 11 News. Thank you, Jade. If you're having problems with getting testing done efficiently, you're encouraged to contact the health department or the attorney general's office. We've got links on THV11.com. Well, from testing to shots, the Supreme Court put a stop to the Biden administration's plans to mandate vaccines in workplaces across the country. The high court struck down the so-called vaccine or test rule a week after hearing arguments, but the justices allowed the mandate for health care workers in facilities that take part in federal Medicare and Medicaid programs. Governor Hutchison responding to the high court's decision, saying in part, I'm grateful the court has stayed President Biden's vaccine mandate for most employers. He went on to say many businesses stockpiled rapid COVID tests, and this decision will hopefully free up the supply chain.